Welcome to Computational Science YouTube channel. In the previous class, we have seen about how to write a physics lab report. So today we are going to see how to write a chemistry lab report. Uh, of course, they have physics lab report and chemistry or biology lab report writing has a little bit some difference. So we have decided to create another video which is more applicable to a chemistry lab and a biology lab report. So in this video, we are going to see how to write a best lab report in terms of grammar and in terms of its component, its content. So <coughs> lab report has two components. <coughs> the first one is a title page. Mostly, sometimes it is called a title page, but it is mostly known as a cover page. The second one is main body of the lab report so we will see each of them one by one so the first part is a cover page or title page so the title page of a chemistry or biology or physics lab report should have the following components should have the following information the first one is name of an institution the name of university the name of your college so on the first, on the top of your cover page, you have to write your institution name or your uh, college name. The second one is faculty or college, College of Natural Science, College of Health Science, College of uh, Medical Science. Just write your college specifically, then write your department, Department of Chemistry, Department of Biology, Department of Medical Laboratory, Department of Pharmacy. Just write your department name. Then the second, the fourth one is course title or the name of the course, General Chemistry Laboratory general uh, biology laboratory organic practical organic chemistry practical organ organic chemistry write the course title the course name the second one is the the fifth one is course code the course code the code that's given to that code that code is written uh, next to the course name or the course title so the sixth one is experiment title right specifically the title of the experiment the title of your experiment so the seventh one is experiment number is it your first experiment or your second experiment or just write if it is a first experiment experiment number then write in front of it one two three if it is experiment one just write one it is your second just write two so the next one is <coughs> group member uh, group group number group number uh, you uh, most of the time uh, lab uh, a laboratory report or a lab experiment is done in a group so uh, are you uh, the first group the second group or the third one so write your group number that is assigned uh, to you by your instructor just write your group group number group one group two group three just like that so the next one is group member group members name just write group members name then one two three uh, up to uh, your uh, number your quantity then in front of your name just write accordingly your id number then uh, the next one is the day experiment submitted to you, your instructor. Or in this, uh, in this place, you can write, you have two options. The first one is to write the date, the actual date that the experiment was performed. This one option. Or you can write the, date, the actual date that you have submitted your report to your instructor. So, it is optional. You may write the actual list that you have performed your that you have performed your experiment. It's one option. Or you can write the date that you have submitted to your instructor. Your report has been submitted to your instructor. Then the last one is submitted to whom? Submitted to. Then in front of it, write the name of your instructor, the name of your teacher. So this is all about cover page of your report your cover page your reports of the report of your cover page must contain this information this information so let me show you example of cover page cover page so uh, title page example or cover page example 
The first one is what? Uh, the name of an institution. For example, my institution is Metro University. Then uh, next to it's college or faculty name. Faculty of Natural and Computer Science, or you can say College of Health Science. So write your college, your college. So the next one is the write your department, Department of Chemistry, Department of Biology, Department of Pharmacy, Department of Medical Science. Just write your department. This, uh, the next one is what? Course type. For example, let me say Practical General Chemistry. Practical in organic chemistry, uh, practical organic chemistry, just write the, the course title or the course name. The next one is course code. So you have, you can find the course code on your uh, course guide book. So just uh, write on there. You can just pick it and write next to course title. The next one is experiment title. The experiment you uh, you were performed uh, the title of the experiment you were performed is written next to course code let me say mass and volume measurement or let me say uh, physical identifying substance by physical properties or let me say survey of some functional group just write the experiment title the next one is what experiment number is it your first experiment is it your second or it is the third experiment you are performing? For example, in practical general chemistry, the mass and the volume measurement is the first experiment, isn't it? So we have to write the experiment number one. The next one is group number. Just write your group number. Group one, group two, or group three. So the next one is group member. Here, group member list if you were Perform your own experiment as a group. Just write your group name, uh, group name members, group members name and ID number accordingly. If it is individual experiment, just write your individual name. So uh, on the right hand side, to the bottom uh, part of your cover page, to the bottom part of your cover page, on the right hand side, you have to write the submitted date and the submitter to your instructor is information is written, right hand side, to the right hand side of your cover page. So, it is not uh, listed according to the uh, institution name, department name, so it have to write to the right hand side, to the bottom hand, right hand side of your uh, paper so submit a date or the date uh, you have two option submit a date the day you have submitted your report or the day the actual experiment was performed the next one is submit it to then write your experiment your instructor name so this is all about example of uh, cover page or title page the next one is the main body of the main body of uh, your experiment or your lab report. So, on the uh, main body of your experiment, the first one is experiment type. Let me say mass and volume measurement, then objective. So, when, whenever you are going to write your objective, your objective should be, for example, uh, it may be three or two uh, or more than two objectives that was that's written on your manual, but you have to write the objectives that you were performed in the laboratory. Okay, if there are more than uh, two or three objectives uh, that was written in your manual, but if you were performed uh, the only one, you have to write the objective that you were performed. Okay, the next one is theory. Theory is just a description of. Uh, the description of your uh, experiment title, uh, short and briefly, write your theory from your manual. The next one is chemical and apparatus. Write chemical and apparatus separately, the chemicals. Again, when you, whenever you are going to write chemicals and apparatus list, there may be uh, a chemicals that is, that, uh, is written or, uh, that are written or in manual, but most of the time, the chemicals and the apparatus that are listed on your manual, all of them, all of them are not used 
an experiment due to lack of scarcity of chemicals in the apparatus. So you have to write the correct or the actual chemicals you have used and the apparatus you have used. Okay? So the next one is procedure. Procedure should be written in past passive form and paragraph form. Usually, most of the time, procedure is uh, procedure written on your manual in a numbering system. One, two, three. First, add this amount of milliliter of water, this amount of ethanol, this amount of this, and add this uh, gram of sodium hydroxide. So you have to write that procedure in a po in a passive form, past passive form, and paragraph form. I will show you at the end of this. Uh, presentation how to convert the active voice that is the active voice procedure that is written or your manual how to convert into past passive form the next one is what observation observation may be a color change it may be phase change whether it's a chemical change any change whether it's chemical change or physical change that you were observed while you were performing your experiment is written under here under observation when some amount of this substance was added to this some amount of this substance, the color was changed from this to this. Okay? So, it, was, it is written in a passive form. The next one is what? Data. If applicable. If it has your observation or your experiment has a calculation part, you can write your data in a tabular form. So, after you... Uh, write your data in a tabular form, the next one is discussion. So, discussion means justifying, describing, explaining your observation and your data. Okay? For example, for example, when we add some drop of phenophthalene indicator to a sodium hydroxide, the sodium hydroxide is a colorless, a colorless solution, isn't it? So, when you add some drops of phenophthalene indicator to it, its color changed from its color was changed from, from what from colorless to a pink color so this is your observation part for example if you want to discuss it your observation discussion means explanation of your observation and explanation of your data okay so you have to explain it why some drops uh, on the upon the addition of some drops of phenophthalein indicator to sodium hydroxide converts the color of sodium hydroxide from colorless to pink color you have to justify so your description of your observation is written under discussion you have to clarify it why your experiment this chemical reaction changes from this to change it may be phase change it may be color change so whether it is chemical change or physical change, just describe your observation and your data under discussion part, under discussion part. The next, after you discuss your observation and your data, it is calculation. Calculation, if, if this, is, this step is, uh, can be written, if and only if, your experiment has a calculation part. If your experiment uh, uh, doesn't have a calculation part, just omit or just uh, uh, skip this step. So the next part is your result. So just if it is a specific number, the result of this, this, this is this. Just write uh, what you have. If it has calculation, just write, for example, if it is a molarity or a mass of salt that is required to prepare some uh, molarity of sodium hydroxide or any other solution, just write it is. You have to calculate the mass of uh, or the, any uh, this, uh, substance which is going to be calculated, calculated under calculation, and what you have gained as a result written under your result, your result, okay? So, conclusion, the next one is conclusion. So, conclusion means a sort of uh, a general summary of your experiment and a summary of your result summary of your result so for example if it is analysis of soil if you are uh, analyzing uh, uh, a soil a soil so if we we uh, measure the pH of some soil pH of soil if it is less than uh, if it is less than five it is acidic 
it is more than uh, eight. It is a basic. So, if you want to con, if you you want to conclude this experiment as a conclusion, you may write that knowing the pH of soil is important to classify the soil as basic, acidic, or neutral. So, just clear and neat uh, summary of your experiment. The last one is reference. So, whenever you are going to write a lab report or any other journals or articles, you have to cite it accordingly. Your reference may be uh, your uh, manual that is given to you. Uh, it may be or uh, another any other book that you have uh, referred it. So, you have to write it uh, under uh, references. So, uh, let me show you uh, how to convert procedure conversion, how to convert procedure into past, passive, and paragraph form. Paragraph form. So, your procedure must be written in a past passive. Past passive means what? The omission of subject. The omission of subject. We added. Uh, we measured. Don't say we subject omission. You have to uh, omit the subject. Omit the subject. So, to know more about subject or uh, this grammar things, you, we have also uploaded a subject verb agreement or on um, computational, uh, computational science YouTube channel. So you can refer that video and you can get it a clear description of it. So let me show you. Suppose these four procedures are written or your manual. So if you wanted to convert these procedures, you may write it as follows. The first one is wash a beaker properly, weigh its mass on a digital balance and record the mass, add 20 ml of water and record this mass, repeat the above procedure three times. It is. So, if you want to convert it, whenever you are going to report, don't say we have washed the beaker or we have weighed the mass of it. Omit the subject. We, he, she, it just uh, omit the subject. The subject. Uh, uh, must have have to be omitted to be uh, a passive form. So you can convert it just like this. Firstly, a beaker was washed. See here, this is a numbering system, one, two, three, four, isn't it? So we have to write in a passive and a paragraph form, in a coherent, in a coherency form. Firstly, a beaker was washed. Okay, wash the beaker properly. Wash a beaker properly. A beaker was. Washed. This is a passive form. There is no subject. Who washed it? The subject is removed already. And weight on digital balance. Okay? It is mass was recorded. Was. It is a passive form. Okay? Then 10 milliliter of water was added to it. And it is mass was recorded. Finally, huh? the, the, the fourth statement says, repeat the above process three times. Finally, the procedures uh, the procedure repeated three times okay paragraph form past passive form this is all about uh, how to write chemistry and biology lab report so for the next class we will begin the actual experiment of general chemistry general physics and any other experiments so uh, you have to if you are a new member to our channel don't forget to subscribe and share it to your uh, friends so uh, they can use it accordingly uh, thank you for attention thank you very much